What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down how to create different mask effects from the V's signed a napkin music video. You guys showed a lot of love in the last mask transition tutorial that I did from the same music video. And if you're interested in that, I'll have the link to that down in the description. But in this video, I'll be breaking down three different ways that you can create mask effects for your videos. And if you're new here, my name is Danny. I run the motion visual shop where I sell editing packs and presets for video editors. So if you wanna level up your edits and also just save time editing, I'll have the link to that down in the description. We did just release a new editing pack, the Motion Energy FX V2. And this pack includes shakes, wipes, and flashes in order to just add more energy and flow to your edits. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, so here in After Effects, for the first mask effect, we're gonna be creating that clone duplicate effect. First thing we're going to do is actually create a new composition and we're going to be creating that horizontal duplicate effect. So let's create a new composition. And for this one, I'll just keep the settings as it is. And then we're gonna eventually change it. So go back to the original composition where we had the two clips. And I'm gonna click Control C in order to copy that layer. And then go to that new composition, click Control V in order to paste it. Let's also just cut the timeline. All right, so what we're going to do is actually change the composition settings. Because we are creating that horizontal duplicate effect, I'm going to be changing the height, change this to 200. And as you guys can see, once we do that, it like makes it a lot smaller. And I'll be changing the Y value of the position just so that we can see our subject better. And then we're going to go back into the original composition. And in this original composition, we're gonna bring the comp four, which is the one that we did where we adjusted the composition settings. We're gonna bring this one into comp one, which is the one that we're working on right now. And let's just turn off the first layer. So as you guys can see, because we decreased the height of the composition, it's a lot smaller. And we wanna create that duplicate effect where it fills the entire composition. So we're gonna add an effect called motion tile. And then once we add this effect, you wanna adjust the output height and just increase this so that it fully fills the composition. I'll just increase that to 600. And just like that, we have this duplicate effect. So if I click this layer, it goes back into the composition where we adjust the composition settings. And then once you bring this composition into the original one that we're working on right now, that's where we add the motion tile effect. Then it creates this like clone mask effect. For this next layer, let's create a new composition, change the height to the original value. And then for the width, I'll change this one to 300 because we're gonna be creating the vertical version of this effect. Go back into the original composition and we're just gonna copy this layer and paste it into this new one. Drag this one all the way back. Right when we add this layer, we're not able to see our subject. I'm gonna adjust the position and just drag it all the way towards the left. I'll adjust the settings and just bring the position so that we can actually see our subject. Like right there should be good. And then go back into the original composition that we're working on. Bring in comp five, drag that forward. And we're gonna turn off this layer, add the motion tile effect. And this time we're gonna increase the output width so that it fully filled the composition. I'll just increase that to 700. And just like that, we have this duplicate effect. And if you wanna like change the settings where we only have, let's say you only want like four of these clone effects, then you can just go back into composition and then just change the settings and maybe increase the width to like, I don't know, like 500. And just like that, it makes it wider. Then if we go back into the original composition, we can only see five of the duplicate effect, but I'll just keep mine like this. I like the way this one looks better. And we can also just delete the original layers. This is what we have for the first mask effect. It looks really simple and really clean. I like the way that looks. Now for this next effect, we're gonna be creating a mirror effect using the second clip. So let's open up the proportional grid, grab our rectangle tool right here, and we're gonna mask out exactly half of this layer. So I'll just mask it out like that. Make sure that you mask exactly half of your composition because we don't wanna see any gaps when we're creating this effect. So just grab the mask effect and then I'm just gonna bring that a little more towards the left. That way it fills exactly half of the composition. And then let's duplicate this layer, click Control D. Right click this layer, go to transform, click flip horizontal. So that way we have this mirror effect. Then we're going to create a flash effect right before this clip plays and right at the end. So let's create a new solid layer. For the color, make sure that it's white. Cut this layer so that's only one frame. Also gonna change the composition settings because we wanna add this flash effect right before the second clip. So I'll just increase the time by like four frames. And then grab these layers, just bring it forward one frame so that we have this flash effect. And then grab this layer right here, bring it forward one frame. Then we're gonna duplicate this white solid layer and just bring it forward so that we have one at the end. And then I'll just cut this timeline again. We have that flash effect both at the beginning as well as the end. 
The final thing we're gonna do is create a new adjustment layer. Make sure it's the same length as the second clip. We're gonna add an exposure. Increase the exposure. I'll increase this to 2.5. Keyframe that at the start. Open up the keyframes, go towards the end, and just keyframe that back to zero. Easy ease both of the keyframes. Now when I play this, we have this really smooth flash effect. And I think that just makes it look so much better. But that's all there is for the second effect. Really simple and really clean. Moving on to the third and final effect, we're gonna be creating that really unique mask effect that I saw from the V's music video. So the first thing you wanna do is actually change the colors of your layers because we wanna make sure that we don't get confused with the different layers that we're gonna be using. So if you just click this box right here, you can just change the color of your layers. The first thing we're going to do is grab the second clip and just bring it back four frames. Grab the first clip and then just bring that above that second clip. I want to make sure that these layers are overlapping because once we mask it out, I don't want to have that transparent background. I'm also just going to cut this timeline. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the start of the second clip. Click your first layer, click Control Shift D in order to cut that layer. Then go forward another two frames and cut that layer again. So for this first layer that we cut, we want to create three different sections of this layer. So grab the rectangle tool and then open up the proportional grid and let's just mask out a portion of this layer. I'm also just gonna turn off the other clip for now. Click that mask, click Control D in order to duplicate it. And we're just gonna move this one towards the right. Okay, so my mask is actually a little too wide. We can't fit all three of them. So I'm actually gonna remask this. So this is how I masked it out. Duplicate this mask and then bring it towards the right. Hold the shift button and then just drag it towards the right so that it goes straight. And then we're gonna duplicate this layer one more time or duplicate the mask one more time and then just bring that towards the right so that it fully fills the composition. So my mask isn't like perfect in terms of like how far apart all of them are. When you're creating this mask effect, you definitely wanna make sure that the mask is evenly spaced out. And then we're gonna turn on that second clip again. So this is what we have so far for the mask effect. Then we're going to go forward to the end of this layer right here and then go to the second clip at that layer click Control shift d then go back two frames and then cut this layer again grab this top layer and bring it all the way towards the bottom and then grab the mask for this layer right here click all three of them click Control c and then paste it to this one right here so it creates those three masks for the next clip and then now when we play this, we have that seamless transition. So that's why it's really important to overlap these layers because if we didn't have this one right here, and if I turn that off, we would have a transparent background. But this is what we have for the final effect. I really like how simple it looks and also goes to show how creative you can get with these mask effects. But that is all I have for this video. Those are three different mask effect ideas. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.